Hello Scorpio, it's my lady from Ladies Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of 10-13-2017. The cards I'm using today are The Wild and Unknown Tarot by Kim Cran. I've had these for quite a while but they're a bit dark and I really don't use them but since it is Friday the 13th weekend and it's October I figure I'll put a little darkness in there but these cards are also beautiful so that's why I got them in the first place so make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs if you want a personal read and check in the description box below email me and we can set something up other than that let's get this show on the road what's going on okay so it seems like Jesus all right so you may be th dealing with a fire sign, but generally, and it could be anything, but it's like, maybe somebody is having some kind of separation, but, yeah, somebody's leaving for a third party. It could be a job, somebody is leaving a new job for an old job, but somebody is definitely separating from what they are now, and off ahead to the new. Off ahead to the new. All right. So, check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road. What's going on? Scorpio, 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 for the weekend of 10-13-2017, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, 10-13-2017, Scorpio, 10 Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, so some of you may be dealing with somebody who has authority, but they're using it in the wrong way. This could be you, or this could be somebody um, doing this to you. You know, that's that area, uh, Aries. So fire sign. Mm. So it seems like somebody is being emotionally manipulative. You know, or you could be manipulating them or they could be manipulating you, but it, it is um, strong fire sign feelings in here, okay? Somebody is trying to man uh, emotionally manipulate or control somebody here. There's another fire, <laughs> fire stick. But it's basically saying like, And you're right now you're choosing to stick around this person. You're choosing not to leave, or this person you may be somebody is manipulating and, and the other person is choosing to be with the manipulator, okay? Mm. Alright, yeah, that's that choice again. Somebody um I feel like they might have made this choice blindly. They just like, I don't want to go over there, so I'm going to go here. But it's like out of the pot and into the frying pan kind of thing. Okay, so this could be a job as well. All right, I'm going to put this sideways because it fell off kind of ways. So whatever the situation is, I'm going to just put this here because I'm going to pull another one for here anyway. It has you angry. First you being patient, then you being like, oh, it got you feeling like, you bipolar or something. You may be dealing with somebody that's bipolar, but you're like calm, and then next thing you know, you're aggressive and trying to get stuff done. And it's at one moment, it's like, so something, this could be your job, is pulling you all over the place mentally, physically, mentally and physically, and emotionally. Okay, wow. So whatever the situation is, I'm feeling job big time. It's like making you feel like, I feel like you. this might be your boss. And this person is just a bad boss. And, um, yeah, they might be, like, just throwing you all over the place. They, I feel like they're really trying to manip uh, mess with your emotions. I feel like they want you to quit. But right now, you chose this job. I don't know for what reason or this, this situation. But now you in your head thinking like, what did I do? Why did this person not like me? What can I do to make it better? So you like sort of beating yourself up, trying to think why your boss or whoever this is, partner or whatever, why they treating you like this? And then it's crazy. This, now that I look at this, you feel like you alone, but you're not alone. There's a whole lot of people that is going through the same thing. 
So whatever it is, you need to say something about it. Say something about it. Okay, so this is basically making me feel like you're angry and you're not winning anymore. So it seems like you might have been trying to talk to no, I don't see any communication. But maybe you are going to talk to somebody about this situation this weekend because you're not waiting for something. You was waiting for something anymore. Maybe I mean I mean for first, maybe you was trying to wait for it to get better or wait for this person to get fired for some other reason. Um, or just waiting for this person to leave you if it's a relationship, but now you ain't leaving no more. You just like, I'm gonna say this. This is how I feel. I feel like you're talking to people around about it, and y'all going to get this taken care of, okay? All right, so it's going to turn out pretty good. I don't know if this person is going to get fired or or whatever the case is, but I feel like you are going to uh, get your point across, all right? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, or, sorry, <laughs> raising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up other than that. Have a great weekend.